Hello everybody, this is Shady here, and for today's video I'm going to be ranking the PlayStation consoles. And um, the reason why I'm doing this is, uh, basically I saw um, another YouTuber do this, um, her name is QT in Cosplay. Um, this, yeah, it's a channel that I just like discovered recently, um, and yeah, I saw her do this video, uh, I thought it was really cool, so, you know, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge PlayStation fan, like literally, um, yeah, PlayStation is like my favorite console. Um, yeah, ever since my parents bought me the original PS1 back in the day when I was a kid, uh, playing Tekken 2, all of the classic Final Fantasy games and everything, and then, um, yeah, after that, basically begging my, uh, mum to buy me a PS2 for my birthday, and then the same with the PS3, and then, yeah, pretty much just been a PlayStation guy ever since, you know, it's just, uh, my favourite console brand, really, you know, um, you know, it's just, it's tied to, uh, all my favourite gaming memories, you know, um, yeah. I know you can see, you know, the Switch and an Xbox there as well, which I do like as well, but yeah, PlayStation's number one. But anyway, let's get into it. So, uh, yeah, obviously, um, I've, obviously, I own every PlayStation system, played them all, so this is going to be a ranking of all seven of the systems. Um, so yeah, that's the five home consoles and the two handholds. Um, yeah, at number seven, starting off, um, it's going to be shocking to a lot of people, but yeah, it's actually the PlayStation Vita. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a bit closer so you can see it. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, inception there. You can see my phone. But yeah, um, this isn't a bad system. It's actually like an amazing system. Like, it, it feels so perfect in the hand. It's got the dual analog sticks. It's got the touch control, the rear touchpad. Um, yeah, it basically improves everything from the original PSP. But the problem with this system is I just never really played it very much. I picked it up at a quite a strange time. So, yeah, obviously, I was really big into like collecting different systems. Um because I was a PlayStation guy, I just decided to pick this thing up. Um, it had Gravity Rush, which looked amazing. And also, I wanted to get the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, which was freaking cool. I had to buy it. Um, but yeah, at this time, I also had a, um, you know, I had a PS3. I bought a 360. Um, you know, I had my Wii uh, 3DS, which was like my main handheld. I was playing, it's just amazing. I still had the original PSP. Um, and obviously it wasn't backwards compatible with the original PSP games because it uses carts. Um, and yeah, I just never really played it very much. Um, a few times. Um, I mainly used it as like a PS1 really. And it is an amazing system, like I said, and I would suggest picking one up because it just feels so perfect. It, it might be the best designed handle ever. I love the Switch as well, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's just the perfect size, still pocket size, still amazing. But yeah. Um, I don't want to go on about too much, but yeah, that's number seven. Um, and uh, as a little bonus, I even bought the PlayStation TV as well, which is just a consoleized version of um, the system, uh, which does actually, um, yeah, it has a little memory stick there as well. Um, I believe, does this even play the cards? Yeah. So yeah, you would actually open up the side there and you can actually put in, you can actually, put in the carts, um, and you would just connect a DualShock 3. Um, I think some bundles did come with a DualShock 3, but the one I got didn't. Um, yeah, cool little system. Um, it wasn't like fully compatible with all games as well, which was kind of strange. Um, but you can actually like, you know, um, get some custom firmware to allow that stuff. Um, the modding seems pretty cool with that little system. So, but yeah, that's number five, um, or number seven, sorry. Uh, next up, it's gonna be no surprise. Um, the, yeah, the PS5 you can see there's hooked up, but I'm going to show you the PlayStation Portal. Um, cool little handle device, well, it's a remote player device, really cool little system. Um, but yeah, it's the PS5 is number six. Um, it's very weird because it's like, I play it a lot. It's my most played system and I have loved it. Um, you know, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and 16, for example, Resident Evil uh, 4 Remake, all amazing games. But... It just feels like a disappointment compared to prior generations, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, it's just, obviously, you know, we had the whole lockdown and the COVID stuff, which kind of delayed a lot of stuff. Um, and there are some amazing games on the PS5, things like Returnal, the Demon's Souls remake, you know, some Sony's first party titles and all that. Um, but to be fair, like, a lot of Sony's first party titles, I just don't find that interesting. The third party stuff is cool, but... It just feels like, I don't know, this generation to me just feels like just going through the motions. It's like, you know, Xbox have messed up so badly, Sony don't even really need to try. People are just buying them anyway. They're awesome, you know, the PS4 was so amazing. Um, 
It just feels like they're coasting off of the success of the PS4. People are just upgrading, you know. Um, but like I said, good system. We'll wait and see till the end of the... We'll wait for the end of the console generation to see if it does rank higher. But for me, it's, yeah, it's number six. More than the Vita because I do play it a lot more. Um, but yeah, just not a remarkable generational system at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's number six. Um, number five this is going to be kind of shocking. But yeah, it's actually the PS1. And this is actually the PS1. The one that's called the PS1. It's a little dirty. But yeah, let's just throw it. Really cool the system. I love how small this thing is, by the way. It's just so cool. Little top loader and everything. Um, yeah, the PS1, like I said, it's the reason why I'm into PlayStation. It is an amazing system. Um, but yeah, outside of a handful of titles, or a handful of titles, I don't really come back to the system very much. Um, yeah, unless it's to play like classic Resident Evil or, or like, you know, the Final Fantasy games or something. Yeah, th th it's a weird one because I do love this generation. I have a lot of fun memories with the generation. But fifth gen is just one that's a little bit difficult to come back to because it was the first 3D generation. And a lot of these games are kind of rough around the edges. So, um, but yeah, like I said, it's a great system. Um, but yeah, just compared to the other ones, I just don't get back to very much. Cool console nonetheless. Um, and I would say PS1 is a great system to collect for anyway. Um, but yeah, that's why it ranks at number five. Um, but yeah, we're going to put these things up here. I'm probably going to run out of space now. But number four, I'm not doing this intentionally. But yeah, it's the PS4. This is the pro system. Um, PS4 is an amazing console. Like, um, yeah, this might be one of the most important systems for Sony. You know, after the messing up with the PS3, they needed a big hit, didn't they? And um, yeah, this console was just that. It just felt like Sony were just on a roll with this system. Um, yeah, it's just, it's pretty much the demand was there since it came out. And, um, you know, the great game releases, um, you know, third party and first party exclusives. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake, you know, is one of the, my favorite games on the system. I love Rose and Rule 7. Um, yeah, the um, Final Fantasy XV, one of my favorite games uh, for the PS4. Like, playing uh, the demo of that and finally getting the full game was such a cool experience. You know, the final MGS game, MGS 5. Um, you know, we even had things like the Evil Within and all sorts. Great system, like Resident Evil 2 Remake as well. How can I not mention that? It's like one of my favorite games. Um, and yeah, this system is still getting games out. Like, it's still fully supported and, like, really popular. Um, and it's definitely worth buying. Like, even though we're, like, four years into the PS5, I still think it's a great time to pick up a PS4, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it ranks at number four because the other ones I just prefer more. Um, and it is a cool system. Um, yeah, and I think it's great. Let's try to, like, make some space here. We're gonna have this up right like this. Yeah, that's uh, the next one. The next one, console. Um, and yeah, you guys are gonna think you're gonna hate me, but yeah, number three is actually the PS3. Like I said, I'm not doing that on purpose, it just is. Um, I freaking love the PS3, by the way. Like, um, I was one of the early adopters of the system. This is the Model 3, by the way, the super slim, as people call it. Um, it's actually like, yeah, it may be a little cheap looking, but it's actually like, I think it's the best one, most reliable wall sorts. Um, this one came with a 500 gig hard drive as well. Um, you can get this in black, white, and a blue color as well, but I just had to get the red one. Um, yeah, cool system. Um, what I love about the PS3 was Sony messed up so colossally, they messed up hard, and uh, Microsoft obliterated them. They came out like a full year before, um, it was a much easier system to develop for, um, and it was basically the default system for the generation. Um, so Sony realized, you know, because the thing is, people probably don't realize this, but back in the day, Sony relied heavily on third party. You know, the PS1 and PS2, the biggest games were third party games. There were so many third parties that just flat out didn't bother releasing games on the competition because there just was no point. Um, and they lost that with the 360, so they realized, you know what? We're going to have to go into, uh, we're going to have to start developing our own games. So they had this approach of just making anything and everything. And it led to like some like pretty amazing and strange sequels or uh, not sequels, but um, titles. Like you had things like, um, you know, the White Knight Chronicle games, Sorcerer, um, which was like a PlayStation Move game. Um, you know, you had Resistance Fall of Man, you had the Killzone games. Um, there's just so much variety in the exclusives. You had to... Uh, I mean, I've done a whole video on, like, forgotten PS3 exclusives, um, 
yeah that, that video is a bit rough because it's uh, one of my early videos um but yeah you just check that out if you're interested um yeah the ps3 is just so awesome man i love this console um and this one in particular or the ps3 what's great about it is because um obviously i got it as a birthday present for my mum, which was awesome um yeah so i got it a few months down the line when they did the first price cut um and then obviously i was working full-time at this point when i had the ps3 so it was the time when i was like biggest into gaming so i was basically buying like every big release game and like wasting so much money on gaming um yeah and yeah the ps3 is probably my biggest collection out of all of mine um, I will at some point do a full PS3 collection video. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to gather everything together. And it's going to be a, quite a long one, probably. But yeah, it's just such a great system. I, I had so many great memories, like playing the first Assassin's Creed and, um, you know, Resident Evil 5. And all of the, like, started getting DLC and things like that as well, which was cool. And um, yeah, it's a great system, in my opinion. But yeah, we're going to put the PS3 right there. Um, yeah, oh, they're all actually fit. Uh, next up, app number two. Um, this is just an amazing system. The PSP, um, just a great system. Um, like I said, the Vita is probably the better system. But yeah, the PSP was cool because it had like, it could play these physical things as well. This is Tekken Dark Resurrection, one of the launch titles. Um, yeah, so it had these little mini discs. It's just, a, just such an amazing little system. Um, what I love about it is it was basically a ps2 in handheld form um this is the the model too by the way there's like four different models um you got the 1000 the 2000 3000 and the e1000 which was only here i think uh you have the psp go as well technically i suppose to this five models um but yeah the the 2000 is the one i have this is the one i bought um, i didn't buy it brand new this was the second hand one um i basically have to buy it because I say I had to buy it, <laughs> like I had no choice, but I wanted to buy it as soon as they announced the God of War game, Chains of Olympus, which was amazing. Um, so yeah, because that was like a full on God of War game um, just for the PSP. And obviously um, God of War 3 um, was like delayed or we didn't know when the hell it was coming out. So I, I needed my God of War fix. So I picked one of these up. I picked up God of War Chains of Olympus and um, Valkyrie Profile Leneth. Uh, I've done a video on the Valkyrie Profile games if you're interested. Or the Valkyrie series, um, and yeah, uh, so many amazing JRPGs, so many great like console style games. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walkers, amazing, might be the best Metal Gear game. It's not my favorite, but it's amazing. Um, and yeah, how could I forget bloody um, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, a game that only till recently was stuck on the PSP, um, and that's like a proper like full prequel. To Final Fantasy 7 where you get to play as Zack, uh, one of my favorite games, like one the one that I always go back to on the system, in fact. Um, and yeah, it has like the definitive version of Final Fantasy 4 as well, the um, Final Fantasy 4 Complete Edition. Um, got f I'm gonna keep plugging other videos, sorry, but yeah, I have a full um, playthrough of Final Fantasy 4, the Pixel Remaster version, um, if, the, if anyone interested, but yeah, I um, love this system, just um, yeah, one you have to buy. Um, I will do a full buying guide just on the PSP at some point. Probably all of these systems, like I, you know, PlayStation is my favorite. As everyone knows, it will put that one there so you can see it. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, who's gonna, you know, this is kind of obvious, but yeah, number one is the PS2. I mean, it was the last system left, it was kind of obvious. But yeah, I love this system. Um, this system is why I'm so big into gaming and love PlayStation um, as much as I do. This is obviously the slim model, the, yeah, the fat and the slim. Um, I actually need to get the system replaced because um, it kind of stops spinning. Um, there's something wrong with this little mechanism. Um, the spring's probably gone or something, so I'm gonna need to buy a new PS2 at some point. But yeah, this is a silver one. Um, PS2 is just, it's a classic system. It's just amazing. One of the greatest libraries of all time, the highest selling console of all time. Hundred, um, I think Jim Ryan said 160 million units, actually. We thought it was 135, but yeah. So obviously they were still producing this in other countries and everything, so. But yeah, um, I love this system so much. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy X, just playing that, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Final Fantasy XII as well, Metal Gear Solid 2, my favorite game ever. Um, and yeah, just so many great memories. Um, what I loved about this is, there was really any games that would skip out on the system. Um, you know, the original Xbox, uh, there was some of those like PC port games that wouldn't be possible in here. Um, 
and then obviously the GameCube, obviously all Nintendo first party titles, you know. But this game had basically everything. Um, almost every third party game was on here. Sony had some cool first party titles as well. You know, things like Jack and Dexter and Ratchet and Clank, um, Grand Turismo games, all sorts. Um, yeah, it's just, it's an amazing console. I think this is still one of the best consoles to collect for anyway. Um, you know, like I said, uh, my, I spent hours just playing on this thing. Um, I think I went through three or four PS2s, like that's how much I used to play it, you know. Um, yeah, oh my god, how can I forget the Disgaea games as well? Like, uh, recently they're doing um, Phantom Brave, which was like the first game in those um, Mecha Kingdom Chronicles. Um, is getting a sequel finally. Um, so yeah, how can I forget about mentioning that? Like, playing Disgaea 2, Disgaea 1 um, on this system was amazing. So many great JRPGs. Um, this console is why I love JRPGs as a genre overall. Um, I will have to do a PS2 collection at some point. Um, yeah, it's it's up there as one of my favorites. Um, well, it's up there as one of my biggest collections anyway. Um, and yeah, it is number one. Um, my f Not only is this my favorite PlayStation, but it's probably my favorite console of all time, period, anyway. Um, and yeah, uh, we'll put it there. And yeah, that is my definitive ranking of PlayStation consoles. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, if you did like, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one uh, where we will do something else gaming related. Um, yeah, this has been Shady. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Catch you in the next one.